tēnā koutou katoa, no mai, haere mai, tiki mai, kake mai, ki tāmaki pāngahira. Uh, good evening and welcome to Auckland War Memorial Museum uh, called Elliot Collins Aho, Dr. Elliot Collins Aho. Um, <laughs> and welcome to our Facebook Live, our first one for uh, <laughs> conversations for Tukuriti o Te Reo Māori 2020 from our very physically distant seating, <laughs> not from socially distant. Um, and I'll let my guests introduce themselves in their own bubble, so please. Kia ora, uh, ko Jordan ko Kui Moa. Um, kei uru tēnei no Whaingaroa, Nungiri te ko Nungiri te ao, uh, no Mungi Whanua Lalo Wu te ko Kisama. Okay, kia ora, ko Nasha Tamlin ko Tino. Uh, me uru tēnei no Karakaura ko Marutaki, ko Nasha Tukuna, ko Ngati, Mari, ah, Ngati Tanaro, ko Welcome. We're coming to you from Pukekawa in the Auckland domain. And it's important to uh, thank our Taumata Aiwi. There are three guiding um, iwi of Ngati Taua, Waikato Tainui, and Ngati Whātua Orake. Um, and so we want to thank you for guiding us into the future. I also want to thank all the other hapu and iwi uh, in Tāmaki Hiranga Waka that call the, uh, Auckland your home. Um, we're in service to you and we work harder every day um, and ev for everyone in our region as well. Okay. Tu Aye. Okay, ah, good. Hi. Okay. <coughs> Te reo Māori, the Māori language, like to our Māori, the Māori world, <laughs> is vast and wide and deep and rich and beautiful. Mm. And it reaches back through time that's, and space that's immeasurable and it also greets us every morning. Um, I've gathered these four incredible people um, in front of the Pātaka Te Pūawai o Te Arawa, um, here in He Taonga Māori, our Māori courtyard. And I often see a museum whānau sort of leaning on this bollard and hanging out, um, just having a little kōrero with, with the pātaka, because the, um, these ancestors are really good listeners. And it's a real place of grounding and of locating yourself, especially if you had a tough day. Um, you always come away feeling nourished if you've hung out outside the pātaka. Um, and so that feels like a pretty good locating place mm -hmm. to start our kōrero. Um, if you have any questions as well, uh, iwi, let me know, send them through on the comment section. Hopefully I'll figure them out and answer them. Otherwise I've got plenty to go along with, so pātai mai. <laughs> okay, who do I ask first? Jordan, Jordan, don't. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go and that. So, no hia queer. Yeah, Jordan, yeah. where are you? In the, in, in the world of te reo Māori, mm -hmm. where are you at? Um, so I started learning te reo Māori a little bit through high school. And then I had this great idea that I was going to become like fluent in one year. <laughs> so, yeah, we all, we all had that. So that didn't, doesn't happen. Um, but I'm well and truly like immersed in te reo Māori and um, we call te reo Māori a lot at home. Um, and I'm a part of the Te Aupikitanga um, with Te Wanango Aotearoa. And so that's sort of keeping me up to speed. So I don't know, I guess it's like intermediate level, but who knows? It's like a life learning type thing. Mm. Oh, we'll come to that. Don't mm. get ahead of your question. Oh, sorry. Uh, good. <laughs> intermediate. Like, I'm going to skip Natua and go to James. What about you? Can you? Where yeah. are you? Yeah. Similar? Um, well, this is literally only my third year of, of learning te reo Māori. And so mm. one of the things that I realise is I'm actually completely at the beginning. <laughs> like, I'm literally a toddler just walking <coughs> through trying to learn, um, really grateful for these wānanga, for, for um, providing opportunities to, to learn. Um, but yeah, like I'm t totally at the beginning. Uh, I, I, I think at the beginning, if I was looking at myself now, I would think, well, you're probably fluent. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but now that I'm here, I realise, oh my goodness, you've got so much. <laughs> so I, I actually, I think my English is not fluent, <laughs> let alone yeah. my Māori. So mm. yeah, definitely at the beginning. Nice, Hilda. I'm concerned about where I am at if you're at the beginning. <laughs> but anyway, we won't. Not, tonight's not about my questions. Uh, Natua, mm. yes. Is this where you thought you'd be at this point, envisaging yourself at 21, 
like you are, I don't know how old you are. I'm, <laughs> like um, once was. Yeah, once, <laughs> once were. Uh, yeah. Do you th does this thought, the thought, is this where you thought you'd be, or are you sort of surprised? Um, definitely. <laughs> definitely surprised. In terms of, like, I think it's a two-part question. In terms of the real journey, this is not where I thought I'd be. Mm. Um, much like Jordan, I thought I could go to to Wananga Takiura, and in a year I would come out and be fluent and know, know everything, mm. um, which I don't. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't Wait, know if what? I ever will. <laughs> but... Um, I'm not there in the real journey, but when it comes to like my life, I when I was like 21, like you said, just not that long <laughs> ago, um, I didn't even imagine myself really taking up Te Reo Māori so passionately. Mm. Mm. So True. I'm not at all where I thought I'd be. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And hope. I'm going to carry on. We're going to carry on to his kind of theme. Mm. How has it? Um, how has it changed the way you live in the world? Mm. I think. The cool thing for me is when you learn a language, you don't just learn a language, but you learn the world that mm. it comes from. Mm. And so I think for me, that's been the biggest thing is um, like, it's easy to try and understand Te Ao Māori from the outside, but I think only by learning Te Reo Māori have I really kind of begun to understand. And I think, um, yeah. Mm. I hate it when people say this as a Pākehā, but as a Pākehā, <laughs> if you really want to know and understand the world that is Te Ao Māori, I think learning Te Reo Māori is the oh, best yeah. way to do that. And Ooh. I think that's the, the biggest way that it's changed how I see everything. Nice. Mm. Mm. I do a lot of as a Pākehā. As a Pākehā, I've got a lot more... <laughs> as a Pākehā, I've got a lot more follow-up questions, but um, <laughs> as, as a <laughs> member of uh, Auckland Museum, I, I know when to hold my tongue. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm just going to make sure if anyone's joining us recently, welcome, welcome, no mai, um, to our conversations about Te Reo Māori, um, where we're at on the journey, which we're hopefully all on. Probably if you're tuning in, you're probably somewhere along this continuum. Mm. I'm going to circle back, Jordan. Kia ora. Your biggest surprises during your language reclamation? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I didn't think it was going to be so life-changing. Like, I didn't think that it was going to switch up my entire way of thinking, the frameworks that I'm thinking through, the rubrics that I didn't realise I had have been totally turned upside down and inside out for the absolute better, and I feel more like myself than I ever have. And I think I'll just keep doing that. But that totally, I just thought, 21, like, yeah, I know myself. <laughs> and I feel like telling her to shut up, because she did not. But you can do it in Te now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Nato, what about you? Same. Because, big, yeah? Uh, much the same. Mm. It's changed my whole life. The mm. focus, what I feel like is my purpose in life. Um, it's just a whole... It's like, you know, if you were to just take your perspective of the world and then shift it and swap it out for something else. It's mm -hmm. that. It's the strangest thing. And so you're constantly learning how to view the world mm -hmm. through a lens of Māori, which is really wonderful. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing. That is awesome. We've got a question through. That's quite a good one. Do you guys know any Māori lessons for migrants in Auckland? It would be super awesome to learn uh, the Māori language with much respect to the ancestors and guardians of the land. Cool. cool. Wow, awesome. For migrants. Migrants. Migrants, yeah, very recent, and refugees and things like that, yeah. I just heard of, remember we were talking to someone about a real class at the Mangere yes. town centre <coughs> in the mornings awesome. on a Wednesday morning. Okay. And I guess she was saying that there's a lot of like um, migrants that are there as mm. well that she's noticed. So yeah. that's an option. No idea what it's called. Yeah. yeah, true. Otherwise, even just starting at beginning classes like Te Wananga Aotearoa, Te Wananga o Awanuiarangi, a lot of those spaces offer free classes. And yeah. if you go right from beginner level, um, they're really great at just sort of leading you through nice and gently. Mm. Mm. Actually, that's good. Can we, we can, can I follow that question up with what, any tips for beginners? Do you want to? Any tips for tips, beginners? Hot tips for, the, for young mm. beginners. Just suck it up and do it. <laughs> 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 when you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> when you're yeah. right, yeah. you're right. You just, yeah. uh, I, 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 I've, I feel like one of the things that we learnt, because literally like we started, like I said, we started three years ago, but we started 
with literally nothing, mm. even though we're from here. And um, there was, uh, as, as you're learning, you're fumbling across um, trying to stop thinking a particular way to take on a new perspective of thinking, to try to get the words out. And um, there's like just things that, um, that would, it's, it's nearly like in some cases, we just like had to get over ourselves. Mm. Oh. And just go, oh. Yeah, we're yeah, like, She's humbled. <laughs> you might just you might just go home and cry at one point. <laughs> and um and I think that's all part of the journey though, is is just that shift. And then as you sit in that space longer and um it's just immersed in it more and and it, I guess it gets normalized, you're going, actually there's there's a lot of love in it. Mm. Um mm. And so it's not that bad if there's any tip. <laughs> just dive straight in, go mm -hmm. right into the deep end. And, we're, and, and we're, also, I reckon, one of the biggest things I learned was that, because um, it's really easy to go into it and be like, I'm gonna be fluent real soon. <laughs> oh, and I feel like it's one of those things where the more you know, the more you realize oh, you don't know. Yeah. And so it's really easy to get discouraged and be like, I'm so bad at this. And so the main thing that I had to learn to do was to just look back to where I started and be like, yeah. I am so good compared mm. to that. And I realize I have so much cool. further to go, yeah. but like, it's really important to keep looking back to the beginning mm. and like, that'll keep you encouraged. <laughs> Trust the process. Man. Trust the process. All right. Hi yes. too, hanger. Nice, Kilda. Hey, I've got, that's actually quite awesome. On, on that, speaking of learning, we're behind us in the, in the pātaka is Michael Parakofai's Atarangi um, yeah. Cuisine Rods. From if you remember from primary school, did you did any of you learn the Atarangi method or? We all did. In that way? Yeah, yeah, we all did, we all did. at um, in our Rumaki Reo yep. classes, uh, and it was just the very beginning, which was so helpful because it's even just swapping your brain from learning to view written words, mm. you know, and associate mm. it with like an object, and yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, mm. totally. Awesome. It kind of helps remove the like trying to translate directly from like a Pākehā for Kā yeah. or Pākehā, like sentence structure, it kind of just changes it into like, you're just learning a whole new thing, which I think is really helpful. Mm -hmm. mm. Awesome. Kilda, thank you. That was a, that was a question from our Facebook Live. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, now I'm gonna dig a little bit deep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get scary. Um, how does, <laughs> and you can all, you can decide, I'm not gonna call anyone out. How does learning the language assist, I'm gonna back up, museums across the world on a real process of decolonization mm. Mm. in many different ways, physically, emotionally, yeah. spiritually, um, technologically, um, academically. How does learning the language assist in your decolonization process? Mm. Yeah, wow. Who's got mm. a goodie? Um, I, I <laughs> think of, um, there's one of the kōrero, ko te reo, te tatau ki te ao. You know, the, the language is the doorway into the world. Mm. Um, there's no way of learning te reo Māori without its waiata, without its whakatauki, whakatawaki, mm. uh, without its kōrero tukuiho, mm. pūrākau, paki waitara. Mm. There is no way of learning te reo Māori, you know, being immersed in that learning without those elements. And I feel like it's, it's in those elements that offer you the world view. The mm. language mm. is just the doorway into it. Mm. And that in itself, I think there's a natural deconstruction or a natural decolonization, de mm. the, 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 the ability to unlearn things to then pick up, reconstruct new learning. I would probably think that that nice. is one way. <laughs> 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 There's yeah, many ways to <laughs> do that thing, which we're all trying to do. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome, thank you. Um, uh, on that as well, we're gonna, we're gonna move from ancient colonization to everyday life, life right now, what does it mean to you, Jordan, mm. um, to see Te Reo Māori taking pl uh, its proper place in the museum, in city, on TV, in social media, at, in our schools, in our street names, what does it mean to you? Oh, it's great, and I think I would flip it, I'm like, it's great to see everyone else taking their place in Te Reo Māori, yeah. you know, and, and um, mm. because that's the language of yeah. this land, like, and I hold fast to that. Everyone else is in Te Ao Māori and you can just wake up and realise it. And so it's brilliant to, to, to see that resurgence and even a lot of uh, Tauiwi, a lot of Pākehā, just wanting to engage in that journey is a beautiful process to witness. It's um, actually really encouraging. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Anybody mm. else? That's, that's you. 
and I'll total call that one. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Good. Uh, and I've, I've, I've asked a question. Is there an end point uh, to learning to deal? I'm going to answer that with a no. <laughs> <laughs> There's no end point. Um, far no. We just, we, it's, you begin and then you continue to begin. Uh -huh. Again and again. Um, which is kind of hopeful for all of us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that as a bit of a hopeful <laughs> message. Um, speaking of hopes, uh, what... Actually, I'm going to ask all of you, hope. Start with hope. Okay. Uh, what are your hopes for Te Reo Māori, personally, nationally, globally? What do you think? Um, personally, I would just love to keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, whatever that looks like. Obviously, as we've said, it's a lifelong journey. Um, but also, like, any language is a lifelong journey. Like, there's so many words in English I don't know either, so don't let that scare you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, oh, it's a lifelong journey, yeah, I don't think I sign up for that. But um, I think my hope for Te Reo Māori is that it would just be fully embraced mm. by Aotearoa as a whole, um, that it would just be the standard, the norm, that we wouldn't have to be like, come on, guys, come on, guys, Te Reo Māori, Te Reo Māori. And so, yeah, I think for me, my hope is just to see it um, you know, my children, my children's children, for it just to be normal for them and not like for them to have to fight mm. for the right to speak their video. Mm. So. Awesome. Mm. James, what do you think? Yeah, um, just thinking actually today, not to get political, but um, <laughs> oh, no. the, the Māori <laughs> Party had um, released their new policies for Te Reo Māori. Mm. And I think one of my hopes is that, yeah, people would be quite bold, like, like they're this is what their desires are for Te Reo Māori mm. come this year. This is how we're planning on doing it. Planning on doing it, I think my, my hopes would be um, that that would be a real norm, that, that, that people would stand quite boldly and say, mm. this is our hope for Te Reo Māori, this is what we're willing to do to get there. Um, you know, even on, on an international scale, I would, I, would, um, I would hope that New Zealand could do such a good job in, in Te Reo Māori mm. that it would no longer be a revitalisation mm. of Te Reo Māori, mm would just be, yeah, you yeah. know, and, and that the world would get to see it and that it would even inspire that and, and for other iwi across the world, mm. um, that they could look to, to New Zealand, that they could look to Aotearoa and go, oh, whatever they've gone and done over there, we can learn something. Mm. Mm. So um, that would be my hope for, awesome. for Te Reo Māori. Kilda. Mm. Mm. any follow-up? Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. A lot of hopes going on. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with these guys. I think mine's a little bit more... Um, focus specifically on Māori. And mm. so I, I believe Māori, te reo Māori, would be beautiful in every single person's mouth in Aotearoa. But I specifically know and have experienced what it's like as a Māori to reclaim that part of your identity. Mm. It's so intrinsically bound to who we are, to where we come from, to our whakapapa, to our whenua, to our history, mm. everything about us. And so for me, my hope is that Māori will just have this thing of wanting to learn our real. Yeah. That's my big thing. Yeah. I think that's what I'll push for for the rest of my life, mm. is just trying to encourage Māori to take our language mm. back. Mm. I love it. Jordan, hold that. I want to ask. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> I feel like this. Well, can you ask this? Well, answer this one. one <laughs> ah, yeah, one more question on Facebook. Um, what are some things that damage te reo Māori in our society today? Mm. Ooh, it's a quite a like, good question. Yeah. yeah. I'd just question. say purposeful mispronunciation. <laughs> That there's, mm. that I honestly have yeah. the most patience and grace for people who are trying and it's just not quite there. That's fine. I, I don't have any issue with that. But just the tika waters and the mangri and <laughs> the, it's so oh, gross. And we laugh, but we it's... laugh, but it's actually damaging because yes. it just normalizes um, the devaluing of our real and our real is a taonga. Um, and so we want to protect it, we want to look after it, we want to treat it like a taonga. So just, yeah. just the effort. Mm. <laughs> Straight up. Nice, good. And these are important names, these are often people's names, these are yes. events that happened, these are real, these are history markers yeah. for us, um, for all of us, not just for Māori, they will, they guide you. And because we can't leave Aotearoa, we were doing lots of travel. <laughs> so, Ethi, we get out there and practice as you're on your road trips. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to do, I don't know how what we're going for time, but no one's, no one's looking angry at me. So we're going to do a quick fire round. Bring it. Ooh, okay, right. here we go. <clears throat> do we all answer? Uh, you can all answer this one. Oh, I'll give you a good, yeah. Yeah, all answer. Go, go know, just like, call it out. What if we just like, call it, oh, it's going to get crazy. Do we shout? Uh, 
So here we go. First question, the Kiwi, a Kiwi is the name for a New Zealander or a native bird? Go. Bird. Bird. Manu, yeah. Manu. Okay, Manu, bird. So we've got that. There we go. Tick. Um, actually, uh, there's, no right or, there's no right or wrong answers. Fano. Okay. Uh, hamarara or amarara, which means umbrella. You're welcome. Uh, is in the or or the R category? Oh. Yeah. Both. Depending. It depends. Nice. Maybe. Context yeah. matters. Okay. Yeah. There's some context nerds. Uh, so <laughs> Google that. Uh, when you get when you get off Facebook Live, okay, um, it's a good one, and you'll it'll blow That's your right. mind. There's a whole world anyway. Yeah. Um, one, <laughs> okay, have a good save for hours. Umbrellas. <laughs> Talking about uh, how versus all. umbrellas. Talking about umbrellas for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to get two, two, two favorite your favorite kupu in Te Reo Māori. Keep it clean. Yes. <laughs> I'm really loving the word taia, like scat. Mm. Yeah. Taia. Nice. Taia. Anybody else favorite? Yeah, I'm. Um, I mean, it's it's relatively new. It's a great kiwaha. Yeah. It's a uh, reheko. Reheko. We can. Yeah, everyone can use we love reheko. It. Yeah. Well done. Uh, great. <clears throat> okay, there's another. See more political, tricky questions on tahi. I'm going to count. Do a countdown. Are we going to commemorate matariki or guy forks? So toru rua tahi. Matariki. 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 Okay. Um, who can count backwards from Te Kau to Tahi in Te Reo Māori? Hope can. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Concentrate. Do it. Come te Kau, Iwa, Waru, Fitu, Ono, Rima, Fa, Toru, Rua, Tahi. Uh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. I think, oh. think Nato wants to do it faster. <laughs> oh <my laughs> I had to really think about that. Um, what else have we got? Um, what about the, what's the favourite? I'm not going to make you sing it. I was going to make them sing it. Uh, favorite Waiata at the moment mm. or oh. of all time? That's so hard. Ikiru Māori. Sorry, Waiata Māori. Mm. Oh, of oh. all time. <laughs> all all time. Oh, I think oh, just oh, right oh. at the moment because we did it mm -hmm. the other day is the Kiamo Kiko Ukaipo. Oh, mm. It's a good yeah. one. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Can you come back to me? I just right. need to think on it. I'm, I'm really vibing with um, with Tua from Stan Walker at the Ooh, moment. Yeah. That's a oh, really. Yeah. I can't say out of all time though. That's it's, a no, 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 right now. But right now, in the moment, yeah, they're, 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 I'm playing that Excellent. daily, yeah. Nice. Mm. We good? I have two. Two, mm. yeah. Uh, don't make me, me choose. It's a bad question. I, I'll cross <laughs> that off. Bad question. Um, bad question who bad wants bad. to finish the sentence? Kaua e ware ware. He taonga te ware ware. Nice. Okay, good. That'll... Don't forget. <laughs> that forgetfulness. <laughs> yeah. It's a gift. <laughs> Oh, that's such a dad saying. Okay, cool. And finally, uh, hello or kia ora? Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. It's an amazing. Nga mihi kia koutou. Um, your words are such gold. We're done. Um, I'm going to finish <laughs> us off. Well, e tiwi. There we go. I hope, um, well, I hope our quarter it all inspire you to continue your te reo journey. I'm going to keep learning. Join me. He wake e noa. Um, together we can continue to whakamana te reo Māori and, um, and we can be as cool as my guests. I'm like, that's why I'm sitting, so it's not really the social distancing, I'm just not cool enough to join their group yet. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us on the first night of Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori 2020. Remember that Te Reo Māori is a language for every week of the year, so cut a fewer. Oh. And remember to join us uh, on Wednesday night, don't know what date that is, Wednesday, this Wednesday, 7pm, live on Facebook Live. Um, for Waiata Among the Manu, Below the Manu, uh, with Aro in our land gallery. Um, oh, nice. Nō reira, koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Um, shall we kare kia whakamutunga? Mm -hmm. Kia tau. Kia tātou katoa. Te atawhai o tātou āriki, a ihikaraiti, me te aroa o te atua, me te whitinga tahi tēnā, ko te wairua tāpū. Ake, 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 amene. All right. Haere rā. Oh, Maria. Oh, Maria.